How about this Hendrick Motorsports domination? I don't know what else you can say about it, but, that, but domination here at Martinsville. They've won 10 of the last 13 races, and look how they've divvied them up there. Jimmy Johnson, 6, and Jeff Gordon, 4. And just what he's done at this racetrack is incredible. Only six times ever. Now, we're talking about 33 races at Martinsville as he finished outside of the top 10. That's why I picked him to win this week. Yeah, that's a good reason. 2002 was the last time that he did finish out of the top 10. So you're picking Jeff Gordon to beat Superman at Martinsville, huh? Well, I mean, everybody else is going to pick Jimmy Johnson. I couldn't do that. <laughs> well, Jeff has not finished worse than fifth here in the last nine races. I mean, if he runs this race and finishes it, he's in the top five. I told him when I saw him down in the garage area, is he'll second. walk in second right now. I was going to put a little extra pressure on him this week. Uh, he was my choice to win, so not to let it get to not him. Like, not like he needed any more pressure. No. Uh -uh. Well, you know, when you have your teammates uh, go ahead of you like that and then one right behind you, and you know how fast they are. For us to be sitting number one, even though we've gone early right now, is, uh, is a great feeling. Really excited about this DuPont National Guard.com Chevrolet and how it's been performing today. But we got a, a few more bullets to, uh, to dodge before this thing's over, but I'm real happy with the lap. Not a whole lot more I felt like I could have done to, to, to improve. So, you know, of course, there's always little things. But I'm real happy with it. And, and the fact that Mark ran us all to lap as he did, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, it was a good lap. And, and we were able to, to up that just a tiny bit because he's been kicking our tails every weekend in qualifying. So I feel pretty good right now. We're just waiting to see.